Welcome to the Cosmic Video Tutorials. This video will be about exploring the somatic mutation data for a specific gene. In order to search for a gene, you can simply type it into the search box. Alternatively, if you want to browse the genes that have been manually curated, you can click on the gene curation link. Searching BRAF brings up two possible hits. We select the correct option and this takes us to the gene page. All the information is displayed vertically down the page. The left-hand menu allows you to quickly navigate to different areas on the page, turn off sections you're not interested in, or reorder the page to your preference. The page will remember your preferences for future visits. The overview section gives you summary details about the gene, whether it is a census gene, curated gene, if there are associated mouse studies, and if it has hallmarks. A description of feature can be obtained by hovering your mouse over the icon. We can also follow the link to examine the hallmark feature, which gives functional descriptions of the gene's role in cancer. The overview section also provides information on the number of mutations associated with the gene, the various sequences and details of any fusions of which it is a part. These can be clicked on for further information. Finally, we have drug sensitivity data. Moving down to the gene view, this histogram will give you an overview of the distribution of mutations across the length of the coding sequence of the gene. The default coordinate system is the amino acid sequence but this can be changed to the cDNA using the filter panel on the left hand side. Clicking and dragging the histogram allows you to zoom in on an area of interest. This then shows the individual amino acid sequence. Please note, zooming sets filters for all the information displayed on this page, not just the histogram. For example, if you now go to the drug resistance section, it says there is no therapeutic data available. However, if you reset the filters, then information on the true drugs available again. Returning to the gene view, tracks are labelled on the left hand side displaying substitutions, complex mutations, insertions, deletions, copy number gain and loss, over and under expression, and hyper or hypomethylation. Further information about each of the mutations is available in the variance section. This is split into point mutations, fusions, copy number variation or methylation. Within each of these categories, more detail is available by clicking on an individual mutation. A table is sorted, for example by count, as well as being searchable, and the data can be downloaded in either CSV or TSV format. The External Links tab directly connects you to other bioinformatic resources, such as Ensemble and EPAM. The drug resistance data provides information about drugs that have been used to treat tumours, containing a muted form of the gene in this case BRAF. The drug resistance is explained in its own video tutorial. The tissue distribution section shows the breakdown of point mutations, CNVs, aberrant gene expression and methylation by tissue type. The number of samples is represented graphically. If you hover your mouse over the graphic, details will appear about the number of muted samples and the number of samples tested. More information can be found by clicking on either the numbers or the tissue type. The genome browser allows you to view cosmic genes and mutation data in the genomic context. The left-hand menu allows you to select which gene tracks you wish to view and also select the relevant variants such as methylation data or non-coding variants. The mutation distribution shows a breakdown by mutation type. The first chart shows an overview while the second indicates the type of substitutions that are observed. The histograms below display the distribution of deletion and insertion size. Finally, you can view all the references that are associated with this gene. Hopefully this video has been helpful. For further detail, please refer to our help pages or you can email our help desk.